Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I will show you how to use visual input and images with ChatGPT4. Now in the last video I got a lot of hateful comments on, you know, you can't use uh, images in ChatGPT4, you can't do this, you can't do that. So today I will show you exactly how you can use it with a link again, but this time I will, I will show you in ChatGPT3. So this is ChatGPT3, right? Obviously this can work in ChatGPT4 as well, right? It's the same pretty much, uh, you know, input It's the same pretty much uh, going to be output as well, just in a different way because ChatGPT4 obviously is more advanced. Now, as you can see, we have one egg right here, which is an image, right, that we downloaded. So we will download the image here. We also have a post image, images.org, go here. And what you can do is you can drag and drop the image right here. And once we drag and drop the image, uh, we can actually get the URL of that image, right? So as you can see, we have direct link right here, right here, we can copy this link, right? Or we can go with this link, but I, I prefer direct links and then go here. And what you can do is you can say, give me a description of this image. And then in the brackets, you can copy and paste the code uh, or copy and paste the link, click enter. And uh, as you can see, most of the times it will give you this right here, right? So one, if it gives you this right here, you will need to go with a different input prompt, right? So for example, you, you, can, uh, you can tell something like, for example, you know, give me what it is on this image and then hit the, the link, right? As you can see, thank you for the clarification. The image that depicts a close up of a brown wooden surface with a row of small round and shallow holes drilled into it. The wood appears to have a slightly wetter texture. So as you can see, it actually uh, doesn't give you the uh, the exact answer. So what we can do next here in ChatGPT 3 or 4, you can try in 4, is you, we can do input, and then we can do the brackets and paste the link in there, right? Or actually paste the code in there, right? Which is going to be this uh, link right here. So let's paste this right here. And then let's see what it does. As you can see, the input you provided appears to be a URL of an image hosted on postimage.cc. The image depicts, uh, depicts a close up of a brown wooden surface. Again, it's not giving me the answer that this is, uh, you know, an egg on a surface, right? So this is something that, you know, it's still being worked on. It's still not perfect, right? Uh, but you will be able to do this soon in ChatGPT4, right? Because ChatGPT4 is currently advancing even more. So uh, that's basically how you can go and how you can input the pictures and how you will be able to do it. Uh, again, this is not available for a lot of people yet, but this is basically how you will be able to do it in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys find it useful. If you did, leave a like down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.